everybody. Um, I'm out here in Nashville, uh, heading to this mall to pick up my hair sixes. Uh, I hit on two pairs, actually. Uh, I confirmed one and I, I passed on the other. Unfortunately, I didn't know anyone else who was in need of a pair and I definitely didn't see any resale value um, as of last night. Now that could have gone up, uh, but at that point I had already uh, hit all pass. Uh, so we are in route. It's going to take about 20 minutes to get there. Uh, I don't know the protocol for this mall. I believe Nashville is in phase two right now. Uh, so I don't know if that means that they'll have uh, any protocols as I step into the mall, but uh, that really doesn't matter because I, I always have my PPE, y'all. I always have my gloves as well as the mask, so I'm going to be good regardless. We definitely should be in and out. Um, I have one final left tonight, guys. Uh, it's a final presentation, so I have to uh, finish a, a couple of details with that. Uh, so I, I definitely won't be out and about for too long. So I'll see you guys when I get to the mall. Myself, shit, I'm selfish. I'm, I'm tainted now. You ruin me. Get check off the list of the many things you do to me. Your girl is rocking those 11 low uh, referees today. If you caught my live the other day, uh, I definitely told y'all this is my go-to sneaker when I'm out running some errands. Uh, so we threw them on today. Who you know wants to settle for that shit? Truth be told, you're the whole package. Head to toe, hands down, you're more than I could ever ask for. Anything you need, let me know so we can plan for it. Pack light, red eye, roll over on your passport. As y'all can see, it definitely is nobody in here, man. Uh, wow. I wasn't expecting to see a, a empty mall like this, but uh, as soon as you come in, first thing you see is finish time. I hit it Foot Locker, so we're gonna keep it pushing, y'all. So the Foot Locker has a line outside of it, so um, I'm gonna have to wait out here to get my reservation, and then we're gonna hit it. So I'm sure this is gonna take a, a good majority of the time. Uh, so I probably will not be able to uh, vlog in the inside. We're gonna have to get in and get out. So I'll check y'all in a second. We definitely secured it. I'm excited. Man, that was a bit much, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay, y'all. Uh, so I'm finally outside of a Rivergate Mall in Tennessee. That was a little different. Um, there's about six shoe stores in there, uh, but I hit at Foot Locker and it was uh, very unique how they were doing things. So they shut the store completely down. And let me remind y'all, this is during uh, business hours. So you were only allowed inside the store if you had your uh, confirmation uh, from the app, from the Flex app. That's the only way that you could get in. Uh, there was a guy who actually walked up and he wanted to purchase a different sneaker and they told him he was not allowed in the location until after um, everyone has secured their pair for the day. 
Uh, so, and then as I walked out, there was a group of people that were wanting to get in and the manager told them, no, um, they're done for now. I don't know if he was saying um, they're done for a couple of hours until they get everything uh, situated and ready for the uh, store to be open. Oh my goodness, I didn't walk past the car. Hey, I mean, I was deep in that conversation. <laughs> But uh, so I'm not aware how long he's going to make them wait until he lets them in. But I mean, you could not get into that location. So um, I guess it, it, it was a good process and way to do things for them. Obviously, uh, they only had two workers in there. Um, so I, I'm sure that that cut down on the madness as well for them. So honestly guys it was it was a smooth sailing today uh i don't have any complaints in and out as y'all seen when i walked in that mall was actually pretty dead uh but when i turned the corner and got around more of the shoe stores that's when i could see more people and they were kind of going back and forth uh between the locations trying to figure out who was selling pairs already uh so apparently i guess the uh champs in there as well as the city gear in there were selling pairs so anybody that didn't call and confirm or you know what happened to me last time even if you did confirm man your pair was probably gone so i am thankful that i was able to secure mine i have been waiting quite a while for these so uh, so i'm gonna get to the house and you know what we're gonna do uh give you that on foot look as well as a review so see you guys at the crib man it's been a long day y'all i came home i knocked out that final and now i can get to this sneaker so i'm pretty excited y'all uh, before we hop into that uh thanks for tuning in to uh, d reads heat and i also want to say welcome to anyone who's new to my channel and to all the returners thank you for your continued support now let's check out this sneaker. Guys, I'm just gonna tell y'all, these boxes are, are getting me upset, a little frustrated. You know, the, the men get some very nice packaging, but the grade school gets a little dumbed down version. Um, I guess it's about the sneaker though, right? Okay. Uh, a couple people know this. Um, I had the opportunity to get these a couple months back and I actually passed on them. The release had been pushed back, what, two times now? So uh, I'm definitely, definitely uh, kicking myself right now. But hey, looking at these materials and these colors, I'm glad that I hit on the Flex app, I can tell you that. So let's get into it though. Starting with that outer sole, we have a white base and then we get a variation of three colors. So we get that uh, reddish, uh, it's like a neon color to me. And then we get that purple jump man in the middle. And as you get towards uh, the back of the outer sole, we get that greenish color. Moving up to the mid sole, we see that uh, reddish neon color. Uh, and then we have a air unit back here. Uh, the rest of the uh, midsole is going to be white. Moving up into the upper is when we start to get the variation of colors as well as materials. We have that white leather around here. And then we have a, a suede that is covered in a, a neutral gray. I actually like the neutral gray, guys. It gives the shoe a nice little touch. Um, as we move around to the front of the sneaker, we see that uh, toe box that is the neutral color as well in suede. Then moving up to that tongue, guys, we get more of a true red there. So it's definitely different than what we have on the um, outer sole as well as the midsole. And then we get that black jump man in the center. And as we move to the top of the tongue, we get this like plastic covering uh, over the top and then we we know we have those two loops up there um, and then we have this lace lock right here that is going to be a uh, yellow purple and green 
So just a little more detail going on right there. As we move to the medial side of the sneaker, uh, it's exactly identical to the lateral side, so there's no changes there, guys. And then we move to the heel of that sneaker, and at the bottom is when you can see the hints of that green. As we move up, you get that purple uh, jump man as well as the air underneath it. And then moving up to the top, we have that heel tab. A lot of people like to call it a pull tab, but that's going to be black, and you're going to have a red strip running through it. Moving into the inside of the sneaker, guys, uh, we do have a, a little pattern, a detailed pattern in the inside there. Um, it's going to be uh, black, yellow, and gray. And at the top of the tongue, it actually has hints of red in there. Uh, this pattern in, in detail came on some merch that I seen inside the store today. Um, it, it wasn't anything of my speed, but I'm sure somebody will, will get it and they'll put it together nicely. They'll rock it. Um, so, but that sums up the shoe, guys. I don't have any hairs in the collection right now, so it was something that I knew I was going to go after. So I, I finally have it in hand, right? The only thing left to do now is uh, show you guys that on foot before we head out, I just want to make sure that you guys have hit that like button as well as subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Uh, I recently did my first episode of Coaches and Kicks. Um, I was pretty excited about it, guys. So I want to make sure that you have your notifications on and that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that nor any of the early looks that I have coming soon. So stay tuned, y'all. Until next time. Don't tell me you got plans I gotta make up for this lost time